My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We sell the heck out of these 32 to 34 little Ford hot rod coupes. They're, people just love them. They seem to be timeless. You can make them your own. They're just great selling cars. This one here is a great example of an affordable uh, driver type car, air conditioned overdrive trans. It's not at the high end of the, the pay structure there. It's just a nice, good looking 34 Ford coupe to go cruising with. Go to volocars.com. That's where you will find the price. You can read all the specs, see all the pictures top to bottom. Not only from this car, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this 34 hot rod. Three window chopped coupe, suicide doors. It is a... Got about 8,500 miles on it since it's been built. It was a one owner car. The gentleman that built it from scratch uh, is the one who owned it and put on the miles, about 8,500 miles. Underneath is actually really nice. I noticed how everything was neatly run. The brake lines, any clips, everything was just installed very nicely underneath. It's a Speedway chassis. Uh, it's all painted gloss black under there. Up front is a Mustang II, independent suspension front end, uh, rack and pinion steering. <clears throat> so of course all that was new when they built the car. Uh, it has parallel leaf springs in back with shocks. Of course all that's been replaced. Brake system's all been redone. It is disc in front, drum in back. It has a composite fuel tank. Bottom of the motor is clean. It's a 700R4 overdrive automatic. It has a nice finned aluminum uh, oil pan, has a new drive shaft, and it's a Ford 9 inch rear end and back. So it's got a really nice setup under there. The motor is a Crate GM 350, uh, I think it's a 330 horse, it's a 350 HO motor, it has a tag right on the side of the block, I looked up the part number, that's what it is. The GM motors are nice, you get it right from GM, it's fully assembled, they even have oil in them. So you want reliability, performance, I mean, that's the ticket, a GM crate motor. The paint is beautiful. Actually, the body's really nice on this car. It's a B&C fiberglass body. Some of them is all just one piece, but this has the separate fenders, uh, so it looks more authentic. And the body gap around the door is really nice, and the, the, the body is exceptional. It's not late, wavy and lumpy. Um, it, it looks great. The trunk fits nice and square with nice tight gaps. Uh, you do have suicide doors, has door handles. I like that better than the remote personally, but it's the old vintage style handle, smoked glass, they're power windows, you got a power antenna. The Kregers look brand new. I mean, they're sparkling like brand new. And then I noticed the nubs are still on the treads of the tires. So I think the tires and wheels are brand new. Has the original style tail lights, Bumpers front and back. Does have the custom uh, panel here at the recessed plates. Got a billet uh, gas cap. Running boards are really nice. Couple little nicks. You know, someone must have stepped on it with a rock in their shoe. Couple little nicks. But overall, the metal flake is laid out evenly. The paint is super glossy. I'm sure it's a clear coat. The paint and body is amazing. <clears throat> The only, uh, even up here looks really good. I don't see any nicks, that's a bug. But all that's really nice shape. Maybe, maybe there's one here that I missed. But there's some hairline, without my glasses, I honestly don't even see them, but there is a couple of hairline cracks in the paint right here. No big deal at all. The rest of it's amazing. So you got chrome headlights with the turn signals built right in. This hood does easily lift off. You just turn both of those. So it is the Crate 350 aluminum, a Chevy aluminum intake. It's got dual feed Holly carb, electric choke, HEI ignition, headers, air conditioning. It's a vintage air heat and air conditioning, new radiator. 
got pretty wild blue and white interior. Very comfortable though, nicely done. Also has a power trunk lift. So we're gonna show you as it comes around. Can tell if I was hitting the button the right way or not. So it is carpeted inside the trunk, finished off nicely, neat and clean. You don't need to open the trunk to put gas in it like you do with some of them. So it's all carpeted, painted under here nice, nice mechanism, nice rubber. There's a box behind the seats, uh, has a battery, and the other side is just a nice storage compartment. The bucket seats have, I think it's that ultra leather, it's a really soft leather type material. It has 34 Ford sewn right into the headrest. The driver's seat is a little bit worn. Door panels obviously have the flame job. You do have a deadbolt lock here because you don't want the uh, doors to fly open. That's why they call them suicide doors. So once you're in, you hit the deadbolt. There's no wires in the door jam. You have these contact points, so you have no wires to crimp and break for the power window. It's a brushed aluminum tilt column, uh, cushion grip four spoke wheel, like a vintage style wheel. It's got seat belts, the seats recline. It's got a chrome low car shifter, one of them tall ones, chrome uh, e-brake handle. It's got a nice set of matching Stuart Warner white faced gauges, uh, modern stereo, uh, vintage air heater controls, a beveled mirror. The headliner is done to match the seats. Do you have an overhead dome light if you need it? So the interior is very comfortable, done very well. Now let's hear what it sounds like. Sounds great. Yeah, the exhaust system is a nice exhaust. It has two little skinny mufflers. I don't know who makes the mufflers. It does have power windows. They're a little slow, but they do go up. You have to have the doors closed to use the windows because they have those contact points. Yeah, it sounds like a hot rod. I like the mufflers they chose. So there you have it. That's my impression of this car. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. Door shut really nice, too. They will answer any specific questions or concerns you have about the car. They can also help with the financing, delivery, paperwork, make all that real easy for you. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.